So my beautiful people, I am back with another Saints Row video and I have had the question already about 20 times now and that is how do you customize vehicles in Saints Row? Well actually guys it's quite straightforward but because the game is brand new there's no doubt people are actually going to miss this because a lot of people don't get on with the main story and push on and do side quests like I have been doing. I mean I've been doing a ton of side quests better than any of the main story and it's why I haven't long on myself unlocked customization on those vehicles. Today I will explain all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Central, be sure to subscribe. Okay so customising your vehicles in the game is something we all want to do and it's quite in depth in this game, I'm not even going to lie about it. So how do you do this? How do you unlock the ability to customise? Well guys, it starts here with Jim Rob's garage. Now, to actually get this and to unlock this, you need to complete, I'll say the second main story mission, once you unlock the open world exploration. So if we go into my missions here, now we, we do know that the few, the first few are actually uh, missions you have to do, you have to complete before you get to explore the open world. Then I believe you do a piece of the action, uh, no sorry, observe and report and then guys you do a piece of the action. So all you need to really do is guys is complete a piece of the action. This itself is helping out JR with his problem and you basically get a percentage in his garage business as well. And as soon as you do this, guys, you actually get the ability to customize your vehicles, which I'll show you right now. And I mean, it is staggeringly badass. It really is. Now, if you guys are after vehicles, I mean, I've uploaded quite a few guys on my channel already on where the best vehicles are found, including this one right here, which is a supercar. Check this out, guys. The customization is unbelievable. Look at this preset I already have. I mean, it's quite expensive, but look at that look at that but it doesn't end there i mean you can do the paint all kinds of different paint guys you can do underglow as you saw there unbelievable body mods and i mean there's a ton well not just for this car but for every car almost like a bugatti veyron is it not yes it is um so yeah it's quite it's quite in depth as well I've actually put a lot of thought process into this, which is like what I like. I didn't actually think it'd be anything like this, but it's actually really cool. And it don't just end with a car so customization in, in just its appearance, but either way, I mean, you can even do engine tones and look at that spoiler, man, it's badass. I mean, if you go to tires, forget about it, you've got front axle, back axle. Uh, I mean, I'm not even looked at what that does. I'm not even sure what that does to be honest um okay so we have audio we can have engine audio i mean there's there's just so much here you can do i mean i don't know why you'd make your supercar engine sound like a little golf buggy but you could probably do that if you want to but you can go horn transmission it's just crazy guys then you got equipment um nitrous off-road kit you can purchase it i'm not gonna do it because i'm not gonna waste my money at the minute because i'm just gonna try and build that money up uh upgrade kit. there's so much guys a signature ability there's so much guys there's so much but yes like i said guys uh vehicle customization in the game is pretty cool i kind of customize kind of customize even the little go karts that's craziness that's cool let me have a look at this <laughs> looks like my mario kart what the hell ah oh, this is a beast but you can't customize what Oh my life, you can. You can. Wow. No, no. Oh my days. That's what I'm saying, guys. Customization in this game is unbelievable. That. What? Now that is cool. I didn't. You can't customize. Get. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 guys, it's ridiculous. The Flying Dutchman. That's pretty cool. There's so much you can do, but like I said, yeah, guys, this is how you get 
that vehicle customization. A quick rundown again, as soon as you get into the open world, we can actually explore and do what you want and go and do side missions if you want to. Just progress with the uh, main story missions. Like I said, I'm not sure if these are out of order, but I know the one you have to do. It's like the second one. Um, it's the second one I've done since being able to free run. Third tops. And it's this one here, a piece of the action. So yes, simple as that. Complete this, it's probably about a 10 minute mission. If that a lot of shooting, a lot of destroying involved, you're probably going to enjoy it. And there we go. It also then unlocks, guys, another set of side hustles or side missions for Jim Rob himself, which can give you some decent rewards too, which I will complete and bring you in another guide probably later on today. Well, yes, guys, that is how you unlock a vehicle customization, and it is pretty badass. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.